I hate it. I don't like it. Stone and Emerson Jessup are not digging the virtual learning. Their mom, Kendall Brown Jessup, is frustrated with it as well. It's complete chaos. I have to sit with my kindergartner at all times to make sure he's sitting down. I have to run between him and the second grader to make sure they're on their calls, there's no glitches. And so my fifth and seventh grader have been completely neglected. Now, as you can see, Cruz Jessa is supposed to be in his kindergarten class, but as you can tell, he's a little preoccupied at the moment. YISD Associate Superintendent Luisa Aguirre Baeza has some tips for parents navigating online learning. To remain calm, um, make sure they have a nice uh, space for the children to work in. Um, make sure that they have at least some kind of materials, a pencil, paper, writing materials, uh, something to write with that they're in a room where it's not so many distractions. Aguirre Baeza believes patients can go a long way while we're all in this situation. We will get through this together. It's not going to be perfect. It's not ever going to look perfect, um, but it'll start looking a little bit better as we sort of get used to our routines, and we're going to be just as patient with them, and we just ask them to be just as patient with us. Will Heron, ABC7. Now, Luisa Baeza wanted to let her teachers know how proud she is of them using things like big emojis and phone apps in order to get students engaged. Kendall Jessup created the Facebook group not only for parents to vent, but also post praise for those trying as hard as they can to make this work. Stephanie.